hey, welcome back to the Flannel Channel. And you probably already know that I am super into old school trucker culture. And so I had somebody send me a box, a, a gift of really, really cool old school trucker brochures from back in the 70s. And so I wanted to take a chance to not only say thank you to John for sending that in to me, um, he included some really cool, you know, like Diamond Rio badges, some stickers, some patches. Um, but we have so much here that I wanted to tell you I'm going to be going through on Instagram and I'm going to be posting one brochure a week, opening it up and taking photos of every single thing that's here. But in today's video, I just kind of wanted to give you a quick overview of what we have. We have Peterbilt from the 70s, we have uh, GMC and Chevrolet from the 70s, we have Kenworth. Uh, let's see, this pile is all Freightliner, okay, and these are sales brochures from uh, anywhere between like, I think 1974, 1975, all the way up through, I think 79 maybe was some of the newest stuff that I saw. Um, this pile here is white auto car, Western star. Uh, we got lots and lots to choose from. So anyway, um, let me show you a couple that are my favorites personally. And um, I'll be, I actually already posted this one on Instagram uh, just yesterday. So go check that out if you wanna see it closer. But um, this is paint codes and paint color schemes for the conventionals and the cab overs on Peterbilt. It would have been 1976, okay? December 1976. So hopefully the camera's catching that okay. I'll try not to go too fast, but one of the things that I absolutely love about old sales brochures is their professional quality photos along with it. So obviously these are all drawings and renderings, um, but you can go through there, pause the video if you want to, and pick out maybe a paint scheme that you have, or maybe your dad or your uncle, your grandfather maybe had on one of their trucks back in the 70s. But it's this kind of thing that's just old school trucker gold, and I love it, I love this kind of stuff. And I'm thrilled that we can share it with you, not only here on the YouTube channel, but also uh, on Instagram. So if you don't follow me already on Instagram, I'm at flannel underscore Philip, and you'll be able to see one brochure every single week. I'll be opening them up just like I did there. And I just wanted to show you some of the awesomeness that is inside these. Okay, so they're talking about options, engines, transmissions, capacities, all the things that would go into when you're looking at buying a truck in the 70s. And I, I think this is just so cool. There's cover letters because this information was requested by John's family and they collected them over the years. So I think it's a thrill to be able to uh, be entrusted with something that's this awesome. Uh, that, like this Diamond Rio badge, it's beautiful. It's in awesome shape. It obviously wasn't on a truck for long enough to get corroded or anything like that. I'm not selling any of this stuff, okay? I wanna make that very, very clear. I'm not here to uh, offer anything for sale, not doing that. This has all been entrusted to me as a gift, and so I just wanna try and preserve it. I don't wanna pass along some of my passion and some of my love for trucker culture to you. Um, here's another one that is one of my favorites, okay? I also posted this on Instagram the other day. Um, I'm gonna show you, this is the Texas uh, sleeper company right there. My hand is covering up the the mailing address, but check this out. It's just a simple brochure that's showcasing the Texas sleeper company and what they offered. Look at that. You can get one for a pickup truck box. Here's the photo that I posted on Instagram the other day. This is a closed closet, custom built for country western singer Waylon Jennings. So you can see that's the Mac, nicknamed Jesse, and it's a Texas sleeper on the rear of that Mac. So this truck is already well documented. You can find, I'm sure, other 
uh, things on Facebook, Instagram, and I'm sure YouTube has some, some videos on it. But anyway, this is the Texas uh, Sleepers Company brochure, and this is just gold. I, I love it. It's in such great shape, and uh, you can read all about how to install your sleeper cab after you bought it from them. Some of the different models it would fit and how they did that. Uh, obviously, Mercury sleepers are extremely collectible, but so is Texas and some of those other ones that were aftermarket. And uh, so there's a couple of my favorites that uh, you can find over on Instagram already. But like I was saying, once a week, I'm going to go through them and I'm going to open these up. I'm going to post them on Instagram. So if you want to see even better, better shots up close, interior options. It's just so cool. Oh, I even skipped a page. I apologize. Look at that. That's just awesome. Old school 70s awesomeness. Uh, the date on this one is month five of 1976. Okay. So little pieces of history here and I've got stacks of it. So I'm excited to uh, share that with you not only here on the YouTube channel, but also on Instagram. That's where you're gonna find most of this all throughout the, the coming year. And uh, just, again, wanted to give a shout out to John. Thank you so much. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, we'll see you soon. Peace and grease.